Welcome to North Carolina Law TV. Today we're going to talk about premises liability. And my guest is David Daggett, an attorney with Daggett Schuler Law. So David, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, David, what is premises liability? Well, premises liability is a fancy term for injury on someone else's property when the property owner is at fault or had a dangerous condition that they knew or should have known about that caused the injury. So, so something like a supermarket? Or sure, sure. And if I could use that as an example uh, of, of both a premises liability and what makes them so hard, particularly under North Carolina law. So you're in a grocery store or supermarket, and there's a liquid on the floor, and you slip and fall on it and injure yourself. Under North Carolina law, you have to show that the store owner knew or should have known about the dangerous condition and had an opportunity to do something about it. This is where it makes these cases really, really tricky, is we have to prove that. Well, how do we know that the person going down the aisle in front of them with a cart that just turned the corner isn't the one that spilled something on the floor? Right. In that situation, the, the store didn't know and they had no time to should have known about it or do anything about it. Right. So there would not be liability in that situation and, and you wouldn't be able to prove the case. Additionally in North Carolina, we talked on another show about North Carolina's very harsh law called contributory negligence, that yeah. even if the store owner is 99% at fault, if you're 1% at fault, you don't have a case. Well, the law says you're supposed to see what you ought to see. And if you should have seen that, and didn't look out for your own safety, that's 1% at fault, you don't have a case. You combine all that, it makes these cases very, very difficult to pursue. I was gonna say, it's very complicated. Well, I joke, the only way to win these cases is you send somebody in the store before you to write down and tell them about all the dangerous conditions, and then you don't know about that and go in and get hurt by one of them. Now, obviously I'm being facetious. Right, right. And we do pursue some of those cases uh, they have security cameras, time-lapsed photography. You have to understand how those work and, you know, and how to, how to uh, pursue those and put those pieces together. But the, it makes them very, very difficult cases. Uh, we once handled a case where um, an elderly gentleman got knocked over by the sliding door when you go into the grocery store. Okay. You know, that's supposed to stay open right. while you walk yes. through it. Well, we, through investigation, we were able to show some prior defects, actually water had gotten into the mechanism making the door malfunction. And so they sh knew or should have known of the dangerous condition, had the opportunity to do something about it, therefore they're liable for that instance. How did you discover that? Oh, by working really, really hard. I would say. <laughs> the, the, the other uh, story that's, that's really very similar is in a dog bite case. It's very similar to a, a premises liability because lots of times the dog's on the property. Under North Carolina law, the, the dog owner has to have known or should have known that the dog had dangerous propensities in okay. order to be liable for a dog bite. And North Carolina still has, and there's lots of exceptions, what's called the one free bite rule, which means the first time the dog bit, then there's no way to know or should have known that the dog was dangerous. Okay. So, so you have to prove that. It makes these cases very, very difficult. It yeah. falls on steps, uh, falls uh, at work, construction workers falling due to a faulty property condition, a uh, little kid playing and getting hurt because of a dangerous property condition. All comes back to the same rules. You have to prove they knew or should have known of the dangerous condition, which that's hard work, but, yeah. but we do, yeah. uh, and that they had the opportunity to do something about it and that the injured person wasn't responsible for their own injuries. Complicated so, so difficult, complicated yeah. area of the law. Yeah. yeah. David, how can they reach you if they have questions? Uh, then go to our website, daggettschulerlaw.com, or call us at 336-724-1234. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. Until next time, this is Cindy Speaker for North Carolina Law TV.